This year, the holy month of Ramadan comes as a humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza continues. The Friday prayers remain solemn among the ruins of mosques and buildings amid hunger worsening across Gaza due to the humanitarian aid blockade. Each of the men who performed the weekly prayers brought their own prayer mat as they prayed on the street at the Jabalaya refugee camp. According to the Territory's Health Ministry, more than 32,000 people have been killed in Gaza, with women and children make up two-thirds of the dead and 74,000 wounded since the start of the catastrophe. Meanwhile, Palestinians attended the third Friday prayers of the holy month of Ramadan at the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. Muslims came to the revered mosque from all over the country amid tight security following fears of the ongoing humanitarian catastrophe could spark clashes in Jerusalem's old city. The prayers happened a day after the top United Nations court ordered Israel to make, take measures to improve the humanitarian situation in Gaza, including opening more land crossing to allow food, water, fuel, and other supplies into the war-ravaged enclave. The International Court of Justice, or ICJ, issued two new provisional measures in a case brought by South Africa accusing Israel of acts of genocide in its military campaign. Israel has denied it is committing genocide and accused South Africa of trying to, quote, undermine Israel's inherent right and obligation to defend its citizens. <laughs> تواجهنا بأكثر من يمكن ولا عشر حواجز على حاجز بيت لحم قاعدنا ساعة ساعة وإحنا واقفين على الحاجز يعني فيش ولا واحد بيقدر يبرق اللي يكون ممغنط آخر النهار بدك تتوقع إنك أنت رجعت إذا وقع ما ما رجعت بيتلفنوا عليك على نفس التلفون اللي سويت منه المنصق مشان ترجع يضمنوا إنك أنت طلعت من القدس